Satisfactory operating condition. Satisfactory confirmed. Shorts slow down selectors when they're trying to get orders out the door. Doing letdowns before a selector arrives at a slot keeps the work flowing smoothly. We play an important role in getting customers what they want, when they need it. When you start your shift, grab your equipment and check it out to make sure that it's in safe working condition. Let your supervisor know if you find a problem. Remember to log on to the RF system. Travel directly to the reserve slot to obtain the pallet from reserve. Verify the product description on the RF screen and scan the product license plate. Travel directly to the replenishment pick slot with the reserve pallet. Arrange pallets close to the pick slot so you can remove stretch wrap or tape when you handle leftover cases from the pick slot. This will save you time by minimizing the number of dismounts. Don't park across from the pallet stack. You'll block the aisle if you do. Ensure selectors are a safe distance away before you replenish the slot. Dismount and clean out the slot. Accumulate empty pallets during letdowns. Return empty pallets to the dock when finishing the nearest letdown to the dock or when your stack reaches six feet. U.S. Foods warehouses use many different types of slots. Here's what you need to know about replenishing each type of slot. For conventional pick slots, remove the empty or partially picked pallet from the pick slot. Dismount forklift and clean out the slot. Return fallen cases to the proper slot. Remove binding material on letdown pallet and place it nearby. Don't waste time walking back to the control area of your forklift. Move any cases left on pick pallet to replenishment pallet. Place older cases closest to the pick side of pallet. Once you finish replenishing the slot, scan the pick slot that was replenished. For a partial letdown, fill slot to capacity and record the number of cases placed into the pick slot. For pushback pick slots, first remove the empty or partially picked pallet from the pick slot and set it on the floor or the empty pallet stack. Place the reserve pallet in the slot. Gravity flow slots are filled from the back. Get rid of trash when you pass a trash receptacle on your way to another slot or a break. You'll lose time if you make an extra trip. With every type of slot, the trick is to clear the slot, replenish it, and return any remaining cases to reserve. You're a key player in getting orders out to our customers. So stay on top of your game by working smarter, not harder.